Hello and welcome to the Plane Ammunition Guide for War Thunder. In this video, I'll explain every type of plane ammunition in the game, along with what they do and when you use them. I'll be giving detailed explanations along with visual guides so you understand how they work. As always, subtitles and timestamps are available if you need them. Anyways, enough of the rambling, let's get to the guide. Before we start though, let me explain the basics. Each plane has a selection of ammo it uses. The ammunition is grouped up in belts. These belts are made up of different bullets, also known as rounds. You can see each individual round by looking at the belt. If you hover over it, it'll tell you exactly what it contains. When you fire your machine gun or your cannon, you will fire each individual round in the belt. The belts repeat the cycle of rounds when they run out. You can unlock these belts by researching the belt pack modification on your plane. Most planes have similar belts, but they're made up of different types of rounds. Let's go with the four basic types of rounds. Armor piercing, high explosive, incendiary, and tracer. Armor piercing is the simplest round in the game. Once fired, it goes on a straight line towards the enemy, and it goes straight through the enemy plane. Next up is high explosive. When this round comes in contact with an enemy plane, it detonates the explosive inside the bullet, causing damage to the target. Up next is incendiary. When this round hits an enemy plane, it will cause the incendiary chemicals inside the bullet to catch on fire, therefore causing the enemy to catch on fire as well. And last but not least, we have tracers. Tracer rounds use special chemicals at the back of the bullets to show where they're going. These chemicals burn up when charged to the target, which creates a bright light to help you see where they're going. However, this causes the bullet to lose a lot of velocity and penetration. This is a good round for beginners to help them aim, but once you get used to aiming, you should switch to a different round to deal more damage. All of these rounds can be used by themselves, or they can have certain characteristics. Let's go over those now. The first characteristic is Fragmentation. Fragmentation bullets break up into smaller pieces when they come in contact with the target, leading to more damage over a larger area. The second characteristic is Self-Destruction. These bullets travel a set distance, and then they explode, causing fragments to go all around the place. The distance varies from plane to plane, but in most cases, it explodes somewhere around 1-2 to two kilometers away. The rest of the characteristics are Tracer, Incendiary, and High Explosive. As you might have guessed, these characteristics do basically the same thing as their original rounds. So for example, an armor piercing Tracer round is an AP round with Tracer chemicals inside it. This way, you can see the AP round traveling to the target, and it will still penetrate the enemy. Or as another example, a High Explosive Incendiary round travels to the target, and when it comes in contact, the bullet explodes. Then, the incendiary chemicals inside the bullet set the target on fire. Alright, that wraps up the basic rounds. Let's go over some of the more niche ammo types. Ball, a standard projectile. Just a lead, full metal jacketed bullet. Basically a worse armor piercing round. Practice, essentially the same as the ball round. Adjustment incendiary, an incendiary round with a cap nose to prevent bouncing, similar to the APC tank shell. Immediate action incendiary, this isn't really an incendiary round, it's more like a high explosive incendiary round. When it comes in contact with an enemy plane, the explosives in the bullet go off, causing things like oil leaks. Then, the incendiary chemicals activate, causing said oil leak to catch on fire. Armor Piercing Serum Core Basically a better armor piercing round. Instead of using soft lead, this round has a strong core made out of cermet, which can penetrate much more armor. Meaning issues. Basically a better high explosive round. Made out of high quality steel with thinner casing walls, these rounds contain much more explosive than a regular HE round, resulting in a lot more damage. Night Tracers Basically a less bright tracer round. These rounds were made to be used at night. Since regular tracer rounds were too bright, pilots had to use these night tracer rounds to be able to aim without blinding themselves. High Explosive Fragmentation Semi-Armor Piercing Incendiary Don't let the long name scare you, this one's pretty easy. This round penetrates the skin of the aircraft, and then it detonates the explosive inside. High Velocity Armor Piercing, a different name for APCR. This round uses a small and very dense core around a bigger casing. The casing is made of a soft metal, which results in a smaller core going at very high speeds to the target. Useful against enemy tanks, but not so much for air targets. That concludes the explanations for the rounds. Now, I'll explain what you should use against which targets. Since every nation and almost every type of gun has different belts, I won't be going over each individual belt. Instead, I'll tell you what you should look for in a belt. Will you be fighting aircraft? Use a belt that has a lot of high explosive and incendiary rounds. Will you be fighting ground targets? Use the belt that has the most armor piercing rounds. If there are no AP rounds, look for the belt with the most penetration. Will you be using your defensive turrets? Find a belt with a decent amount of penetration. This way, you can get through the protective glass of an enemy cockpit. Are you unsure of what you'll be fighting against? Use belts like Default or Universal to have a mix of everything. As a general rule of thumb, against enemy planes, air targets, tracers, universal or stealth belts, against enemy tanks, ground targets or armored target belts, And that about covers it. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments. If you have any suggestions or you think I missed anything, again, leave a comment below. Other than that, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.